B cell therapies have really transformed the landscape of therapy for MS because these treatments that target the anti CD20 molecule are extremely effective against relapsing MS and focal inflammation and are the first FDA approved um, class of therapies against primary progressive MS as well. The ofatumumab studies that we reported uh, last year demonstrated that a fully human anti-CD20 molecule that can be self-administered by patients safely, monthly, subcutaneously at home has a very impressive benefit against relapsing forms of multiple sclerosis compared with teraflunamide, which is an active FDA-approved MS therapy. The effects on relapses, progression in patients with relapsing MS, and notably also on MRI measures of disease was um, impressive. In this poster, we demonstrate strong beneficial effects in the subset of patients who were treatment naive, had recent onset MS, and were an even earlier onset group compared with the Asclepios study at large. Um, one of the key uh, lessons of studies of highly effective therapies against relapsing MS is that by abolishing relapses, we uncover a progression that is independent of relapse activity that we couldn't see earlier. And this progression, which is, has been termed PIRA or progression relapse in progression independent of relapse activity or silent progression can be difficult to see because it's occurring in young, healthy people with vigorous lifestyles and resilient nervous systems. But it is there nonetheless. And what we presented here, not only that ofatumumab has an effect that is uh, that has a strong um, uh, effect size against relapses and focal inflammation, but also has positive beneficial effects against progression occurring during the course of early relapsing MS is quite important. And many experts in the MS area, and certainly my feeling, is that we want to minimize or halt progression as early as possible, even at the beginning of the disease when progression may be more difficult to detect by our routine methods of interrogation. 